Hello everybody, how is it going? This is an urgent reading. Why it has some type of an urgency? I don't know, I felt like it. I just, I feel like it's something is going on. We have to see it. Like I was looking for a paper. I was like, where are my papers, okay? I couldn't find one. So I just like pulled one of the old tests. I'm going to use this one, okay? So yes, it is used paper, but I'm going to use it because why not? This is crystal clear. It's good enough for us. All right. What's the message? What's the catch? In the middle of everything, you know what I heard? In, in, in the heartache, there's a treasure. In every heartache, there's a treasure. In, if you feel like some type of a heartache, I'm not saying that you're going to be heartbroken, things are finished and you're going to be upset, you're going to be really, really sad. I'm not saying that. But if you're feeling a little tight at your chest area, like something is bothering you, something is not making you that happy, something is meh, wishy-washy, you know, something is not that great, there's something to focus on in your life and it could bring you a lot of money, okay? could bring you a lot of money to so fo focus on the work focus on the money focus on what you have in your hand it could be really really important I saw there's a turtle tortoise no this is a turtle you see this is a turtle sea turtle it's just like <laughs> that's what I saw turtles you know when it hatches and when it goes to the water it is like a dangerous move isn't it it's a difficult thing but when they just like reach out to the water when they survive good things are about to come and they are really rare and they are they have to be protected something nice is about to happen in your life guys i feel it i feel like there's a treasure you know it also reminds me of like something is buried in the sand It's weird. Those type of messages are weird. Two people are hugging over there. And this is a nice kind of a hug. Lovely. Nice. Some type of an action. Guys, you will meet with somebody. And the somebody is going to reach out to you. They will send you some type of a message. Or they are going to give you a call. And... I would like to say unexpected, but some of you, you're going to expect it. I don't think that it is like fully unexpected. Maybe timing is unexpected. Maybe the way that this person is reaching out is unexpected. But in general, if like they are asking you, is it something that you, you know, you were not expecting? You are going to be like, no, actually, I was expecting it. You're going to say something like that. <laughs> And this person is going to talk. When they talk, you're going to listen because they're going to say some important things. It could be love message for some. I'm not going to lie. This is like a, hey, I like you type of a thing. For some, it is like a collaboration. It is like, let's work together. Let's do something together type of a thing. And it will be beneficial. It will be really, really beneficial in your life. So maybe you can focus on something like that. I see some people are just taking photos. Like, why they are taking photos? Is it related to your work? Are you the one who is taking the photos? Like, a lot of photos that are being taken. Weird. Like, maybe this person is taking a lot of photos. Or maybe uh, this person is, like, some type of... Having some type of a popularity. And when you are meeting outside, some people are taking pictures of you be like that too but somebody's just taking photos like I don't know I saw a coffee shop I saw some type of a coffee date this is like a beautiful coffee shop it is genuine it is not like a, you know I don't know how to say it like a you know the card with the hand of capitalism okay this is like a beautiful coffee shop that's what I saw like a beautiful warm and cozy you know, the music is good. People out there, they're nice. Something, you know, something is going to make you feel warm and fuzzy. It's going to make you feel, 
I like this place. You know, I don't know. Some maybe because of the, you know, the environment, because of the person, it could be like that too. You're going to feel close to this environment. Maybe you're going to look at the neighborhood later on, and then you're going to find a house for yourself. You know, this is a nice place. Well, how come I never saw this place? Some type of like. Magnet to a certain location is going to happen, and if you're if you're looking for a house, if you're just like house hunting and you're not so sure about the neighborhoods, you're looking to everywhere, but you cannot find the house of your own dreams. You're going to find your house like that because you're going to be drawn to this place. You're going to be drawn to this neighborhood, maybe to, to that specific street, and then you're going to look around and oh my God, there's like a you know there's a house that happens to be empty and. You know, they are having a, a an open house. Like, something like that is going to happen, okay? If you're looking for a house, of course. But, you know, at the beginning, what I felt for you is, like, communication with a person is going to be important. I cannot shake off that feeling. This uh, communication, this, like, let's talk about this subject is heavy, heavy. Like... Good and bad, you know, you can have a lot of emotions, you can have like beautiful emotions, love and, you know, admiration, attraction, those type of things. And you can have some type of anger as well about a certain situation. Maybe why you didn't tell me sooner type of a thing, you know. But it is coming anyway. Every heartache has a treasure. Why I cannot shake off that feeling? Maybe you feel like a person that you like is ignoring, they are not doing anything, they are not being really attentive, they are not being really out there, they are not texting, they are ghosting, they are doing something that you don't like and it is creating some type of a heartache. I don't think this is the end of the story. I think you're going to see some type of a situation about this subject, like maybe a progress, some type of a change, like the actions are going to change, this person's behavior is going to change, but you will have more than what you have now. I'm not saying that you should wait for this person to just like make up their mind and they can just act like a normal human being. I'm not saying something like that. But rest assured, you're going to feel better about it. That's what I felt for you. Like that negativity of not knowing, that negativity of not talking, unknown mystery why it is happening in this way why I cannot see what's happening that thing will go away and then you're going to have okay I know now I can decide on it now you will have the higher ground on that type of a subject okay the immediate message is about the communications with people and the heartache if you have the heartache now that will bring you some type of a treasure Hmm. I would like to see more and more, but it is just directing me into this position of like housing and finding a home for yourself and warm and fuzzy, you know, warm and fuzzy. It is the way of saying it, like, I don't know why I cannot shake off those words out of my mind, warm and fuzzy. You will feel good about it. And maybe because of that, you're going to get some decisions. You know, maybe because you're going to feel good when you're going to get some decisions. It's not going to be like you are anxious, you are in the dark, you don't know what to do, and you have to make a decision. It is not like that. Sometimes you have to make decisions like that when you are not so sure about a certain situation. When you are like in the dark, you cannot see, you are blind and like the only way to get out of this negativity is just like making up a decision and just leave. This is not going to be your fate. You're going to learn and you're going to see, you're going to talk and then you're going to decide. And it will give you this like warm and fuzzy feeling. Empty. 
and also like the housing situation if you would like to change your house it is not going to happen all of a sudden because of the necessity because of like the bad economy and you have to find a new place then oh my god it is going to be a chore no 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 not like that it's going to happen because you know that it will be better for you and you can afford it and it's a beautiful place and it's in a beautiful neighborhood and you know that it will affect you in a really good way and no it is not a chore it is something going to bring you joy a lot of joy maybe hmm an old friend who would like to reach out to you this is a person maybe you had some type of an argument with some type of negativity and it ended your friendship this person wants to reach out to you because they would like to address certain situations that have happened before, not to ignite, reignite the fights before, not to tell you that they were right and you were wrong. It's not like that. They are not coming up with like some type of another fight reason. They are not coming with like the hatches. They are burying the hatches. And they are like, okay, let's talk. Like a grown ups. Maybe it's like a really long time that you didn't speak to this person and when they show up, you're not even going to think about it, okay? Something like, I didn't see any fights, I didn't see negativity, I didn't see, like, even though there was something going on and it ended your friendship. And yeah, maybe you're going to talk about it, but not with the resentment, not with the grief. You're going to talk about your friendship in a good way, better way. You're going to have this remembrance for your friendship in a good way. Oh yeah, do you remember those times? Yeah, you know how we were having fun? That type of a thing, that type of a nostalgia. Not like, you did that to me. How come you did that to me? How come you can call yourself a friend? No, 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 not like fights, not like negativity. No, no, no. I think you're going to feel good about it. You know, when I say you're going to feel good about it, like I, you know, the, I want you to understand the feeling that I'm having when I'm reading those type of messages. You're going to feel good about it because it's going to come to you as like a relief. Okay? Maybe that was bothering your mind for a while. Maybe it was something that you were struggling. And that's why when it happens, you're going to feel good about it. That's why I repeat myself in those words in my readings. You're going to feel good about it because that type of a comfort and relief is going to come to you. And you're going to look at what was happening before and the only good things that are going to come to your mind. Not the bad things. Um, I would like to speak about this person who is going to reach out to you about the maybe feelings, okay? I'm, I just would like to focus on that type of message right now like they maybe love reading okay this person who's going to share their feelings with you or they're going to invite you for a coffee they are going to do something about it it is a long time coming but you you didn't see that or maybe you expected for a while but it didn't happen and you felt like no this person nothing but a heartache more to come more to come this person would like to talk about good things and the bad things. They would like to talk about the possibilities and the negativities because they have a lot of thoughts in their mind that they cannot shake it off. Like they thought a lot, you know, in their minds that they were in a you know, they were a prison in their minds. They were thinking quite a lot in their minds that it was just like Everything has to come with a, a, you know, a burden. Everything has to happen after huge struggle. They were like, you know, in a, in a way that they were not included in a situation. Maybe they had that type of an energy, that, that type of a character of like five of pentacles, okay? You know, the five of pentacles is the cards according to Dr. Hyatt. It's like the card that is representing a, like, a Taurus person that happens to be born at the end of April. 
could be important for some. And, uh, you know, this person can have the birthday during those times. They felt like I have to work really, really hard to get the attention of some certain people. They maybe built up some type of negative, you know, routine for themselves that this is just like taking too much out of them. Or maybe they are, like for argument's sake, it's just like a simple, stupid example, okay? It doesn't have to be the real message. Like for argument's sake, they have this Instagram page, okay? The people they are following are not the good examples or maybe they, you know, some, uh, you know, the accounts can be really damaging to self-worth. Some accounts can be damaging to expectations of a how a human should be. And they felt less. They felt... There's like an image in their mind that they have to attend and they are failing always. And heaven forbid if you are not that type of an image beforehand, like maybe they didn't see your worth in that way. And they had this like image of like, for argument's sake, this is a man, okay? There's like an image of a woman, okay? And maybe they are following those type of baddies on Instagram, okay? It's just an example, okay? It's not the real message. It's just an example. Like, they are following, okay, this is the woman. This is a woman. And heaven forbid you are not that woman. Am I right? Heaven forbid. Like, they, they have to uh, have some type of a shift in their mindset first so they can have something in their life because this is how they are wired. They are going to talk about their admiration, the possibilities, the good things. And they are also going to talk about the negative stuff they kept them so long. And it is all up to you to choose it or not choose it, accept it or not accept it. It's all up to you. That was an example, guys. I'm not saying that you're going to have a date with a person who is just like following Instagram baddies or like, I'm not saying that, okay? This is not the message that I would like to give. What I would like to say is that some type of a change in their mind, it has to happen and it is coming up with a struggle. Like maybe they have to work really, really hard, really, 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 really hard to get what they deserve in life, okay? And then they are working really, 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 really hard and nothing else to do nothing else they, they can do about it. Like, the only thing that they can do is work and there's no time for anything else. It's just like some type of a not healthy way of living for them. Somebody is coming from a long way. Also, I have to say that if this person is not living at your place, I would understand it. Like if this person is just like visiting your town and they're just like, hey, can we, you know, meet? I wouldn't be surprised. Before you go, let's look at the tarot cards about the situation or what else could be about. This talk is going to, you know, it's going to make sense in your mind. So I'm not saying that um, it will solve everything. No, but you are going to understand why. Like, understanding why, coming clean, and deciding accordingly is going to be really important for you and for the other person as well. Two people. Okay. Finding your own true power in a situation that puts you in a, like, should I do that, should I do that? And, like, focusing on two different things at the same time. Maybe, like, maybe you are thinking about a person, but at the same time you have to focus on your work. It will pay off wonderfully, that's what it says. But some type of, like, a progress at the work as well. Matter of priorities can change. You will find your power. You will find your courage. You will find your inner power. And you will feel good about it. And definitely there's going to be a date. Guys, there's going to be a date, okay? There's, there will be a date. And when this date happens, nothing will matter. Nothing will matter. Not in the way that this person's existence is going to solve everything. No, it will clarify a lot of things in your life. 
that you will feel in your element. You will feel, again, I have to say warm and cozy. You know, warm, warm and fuzzy. That's what I said. And, you know, you will be in a position of, like, change. I am going to change things. And, you know, th the change is coming to me. This is going to be important for some. Okay, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye.